And today, these guys are changing the landscape of mental health and mental wellness, and they're doing some amazing things in therapy. They're putting the cool in therapy, and you can't do it without them. We got Terrell, we got Twan, we got the Teppers in the building. What's up, fellas? Appreciate it. What's up, Reese? What's going on, brother? When I first met you, I thought y'all was a singing group, and then I was like, oh, they do therapy? That's crazy. It, it, and it was just good to see that, uh, you know, sometimes you get you get a, a stigmatism about therapy. We start Definitely. thinking about it's a sit down, lay down on the couch, and it's a stuffy situation, and we, we may not want to do it, but it, you you don't have people that are kind of understanding of the culture, Definitely. and at the Definitely. same time, they can connect with the people, and I think that's what we need. Definitely. I think it's important, man, to be relatable. Mm. Um, that's one of the things that I try to focus on um, because if you feel like you can't relate to a person, it's hard to open up to them. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? And I don't want people to look at therapy as anything uh, more than a conversation with a person that might be a little bit more well-versed on some of the things that uh, we might have uh, not been exposed to in our community. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think that the people that are in our community who think of therapy as something that's on a pedestal that can't, um, you can't know, be reached, can't be reached. Right. I think they just haven't been exposed to the right therapists. Definitely. You just hit it on the head there where you say we've been through some things that can be relatable to the people that we want to speak to exactly. and the people that need it. Because I don't think that a 65 year old Indian woman is going to be able to relate to myself or my journey. The Definitely. way you guys and, and I know uh, you guys have made a transition yourselves from from a high level athlete Definitely. into this space. Definitely. And I know Definitely. it's thousands and thousands of athletes that have to pivot. It's shoot, shoot it's a whole podcast called The Pivot, right? Definitely. And they're For talking sure. about people that were high level athletes or collegiate athletes and now they have to do something else. And that mind frame sometimes needs a, needs a tweak Definitely. when that happens. That's crazy that you say that because I, I work with a lot of high-level athletes, and mm -hmm. a lot of times the higher the level is, the better the athletic potential is. So mm -hmm. you've been vetted to be good at the at, at the athletic part. Right. What separates a person is the mental part. Mm -hmm. What separates one NBA player from being Michael Jordan and another NBA player from not really achieving is the mindset part. So mm -hmm. we work on the mindset part. And, and one of the things that they suggest is a three to five percent increase in the way you mentally function. Yeah, it will demonstrate itself on the court, on the field, or or whatever sport you play. Right, that makes plenty of sense. Let's let's kind of. 